Look at that meringue, eh, George? That meringue is worthy of berry off of Bake Off. Why am I a berry off of Bake Off? Hollywood is scum, though. Oh, scum, <laughs> scum. I mean, if Barry off of Bake Off coming in there, I would say to her, Oi, Barry off of Bake Off, no! You're about to do Celebrity Bake Off for charity. Get out of that city tent in that stupid field and come round to my gaff. I've got a brand new magnet farmhouse style kitchen. You'll be willing to use it any time you like you 108-year-old, strangely attractive child clumper. <laughs> oh, bury off a bike off a jump at the chance to use your magnet kitchen, George. And you make a much better judge than Hollywood. Scum. Scum. You keep them celebrity bike off celebrities in order. Don't worry about that, thing. I'd say, oi, Bolo, no! Take that! Moving out of the oven now, you tax-efficient, X-factor, judgmental, plonker, OBE! What a tit! <laughs> Look at Boy Slim's meringue! Look! Boy Slim's meringue base is beautiful. I have to graze it like I... Oh, Boy Slim's probably a dance space baking legend. Unlike some of them musical scumbags, I mean, I doubt Doggy Dog has ever even attempted to make a meringue in his life! <laughs> You're not believing for that, there, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, let's not get you started on Doggy Dog's potential baking disasters. I mean, if I was a judge on Celebrity Bake Off and had a snoop at Doggy Dog's floppy top meringue, I should say, Oi! Doggy Dog! No! Whip your egg white lightly with a tickle stick, like Doddy Dodd! Oh, Doddy Dodd's a humorous gas legend in the kitchen. He knocks spots off, Doggy Dog. He make mincemeat out of him, with a light and buttery pastry casing. <laughs> You're not wrong, Frank. In the world of celebrity meringues, it'll be Doggy Dog between Doggy Dodd and Doddy Dog. Doddy Dodd Dog. Doddy Dodd and Doggy Dog. Did you know? Doddy Dodd used to live in my row, did he? No! Doddy! Do you know that Doggy Dog used to live down my road? P. Diddy? No! Puff Daddy! <sighs> anyway, Frank, who do you think would win out of Doggy Dog, Doddy Dodd, Boy Slim and Barlow? I don't know, George, he's doing my fucking head in! <laughs> so it's your mental, doesn't it? Fucking tell me, mate. Wanna kill someone, him? Easy, easy, Frank. Easy. easy. I'll back you up. <laughs> For what it's worth, I reckon it'd be Barlow. I reckon he'd revive his floppy top meringue very much like he'd done his career after years in the doldrums. Oh, you might be right there, George. I mean, Barlow was huge in the 90s and now he's back at the top of his game. Be like Enfield and Wyatt. <laughs> Woo! I think you'll find that White House has managed to shine in every decade. He's a comic genius in his own right. And we would have been lost without him. <laughs> Enfield invented White House. <laughs> he found White House in a fucking skip in Acme. <laughs> White House should be grateful. <laughs> if I ever met White House, I should say, Oi, White House, no! Take that back, you jumped up, talentless, Spurs supporting, half Welsh cunt! <laughs> 